Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Every member of, Kem of Kampala Bible Revelation Church, you're welcome. Today is Tuesday. Uh, it is prayer platform. It is a moment to meet the Lord, to stand on his word. If you're excited, give the Lord a big hand of praise. We thank the Lord. And even if you're not a member of Kampala Bible Revelation Church, you're welcome to this prayer platform. We, this is all about the kingdom of God. And you are our brother, you are our sister, and you are welcome. Praise the Lord. Today is a, a great day. We are going to stand on God's promises. We are going to call upon his name. And according to his word, he said, if we pray, if what, whatsoever thing that we desire, whatsoever thing, if we pray according to his will, he will hear us. So I'm so grateful today that God is going to hear our prayers we're going to stand on his word and all i want you to do is to get set and we are going to pray as we get set i want you to talk to the lord say father in the name of jesus we thank you for this day you've given us another day we have gathered together in the name of jesus and we know that your presence is all that we need we thank you for your word lord we have come to speak to you Holy Spirit, we welcome you because you help us in our families as we pray. Father, we thank you for this moment to be in your presence and we glorify you in Jesus' precious name. And everyone said, Amen and Amen. Amen and Amen. Praise the Lord. We are so blessed today. We are going to start on God's word. We are going to pray. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. And today... Today, you are going to tell the Lord, Lord, help me to grow in truth. Because last Sunday, the Lord showed us that this truth, the marvelous light of his truth, grows. It grows from little, you know, to big, to great, to, uh, that it can grow and prevail. And so, today I've come to ask the Lord to help me. To grow in this truth. The more I get into his word, the more I get the truth. The more I get the truth, the more I get the freedom. Bless the name of Jesus. So it's very, very important. Now reading the Bible alone is not enough. We need to speak to the one who wrote it to help us. We need to speak to the one who wrote it to help us. So the first promise is First Peter. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 2. I hope you have a pen or you have your phone. You can write these scriptures down. But First Peter chapter 2 verse 2 says, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Desire the sincere milk, milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Now someone has said, isn't that scripture for those who are newly born again? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't you have milk? Don't you have milk on your menu? Are you still a baby? So, I want to pray to the Lord and ask him, Lord, help me. Help me to grow in this truth as you open my eyes to partake of the milk, the sincere milk. Another version says the unfeigned, the unfeigned milk. That, that, that milk which is not contaminated, that mil milk which is not infected, the Lord, you may help me to grow in the truth by partaking of this milk of the word of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the opportunity to be in your presence. Come and go ahead and tell the Lord, Father, we thank you for your promise. You promised in your word and you said that we should desire the sincere milk of your word which will help us to grow, to grow in your truth. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I've come before you. Lord, help me. Show me the sincere milk of your word. Show me the sincere milk out of your word. Show me the sincere milk, that unfeigned milk, that milk which is not infected. Lord, help me to grow in the truth by showing me the sincere milk of the word that I, might, 
that I may partake of it. Oh Lord Jesus, help me. Oh Lord Jesus, help me. Show me the sincere milk of the word of God. Show me the sincere milk of the word of God. Show me the sincere milk of the word of God. Lord, I know that with, with this sincere milk of your word, I will grow in the truth. I will grow in the truth. This sincere milk will help me to grow in truth. So help me, Lord Jesus. Show me the sincere milk of your word. Open my eyes to see the sincere milk out of your word. Open my eyes to see the sincere milk of your word out of your written word. Lord Jesus, without your sincere milk, I cannot grow. I cannot grow in this truth. And Lord, I desire to grow in this truth. That's why I'm desiring the sincere milk of the word of God. Lord Jesus, you are not a man to lie. Lord Jesus, you are not a man to lie. Lord Jesus, I know as I grow in truth, all these lies will fall down under my feet. As I grow in your truth, I'll begin to see things differently. Paul said, as I was a child, I thought as a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child. Lord, is the reason I'm here. Lord, some of us have, have been salvation for a long time, and yet we have not grown in truth. So, Lord, we are here today, standing on your promise. Show us the sincere milk of the word of God. Maybe some people, Lord Jesus, on this program, maybe your children, some of them on this prayer platform have been partaking of the, the infested, the infected, infested milk. Lord, but this time around, Lord, we need your help. Lord, we need your grace. Lord, we need your strength. Empower us, Lord Jesus, to begin to partake of the sincere milk of the word of God. Come on, go ahead and tell the Lord. Go ahead and tell the Lord. Um, I, I begin to partake of the sincere milk of the word of God. I begin to partake of the sincere milk of the word of God. I begin to partake of the sincere milk of the word of God. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we worship your name. Lord, we exalt your name. Thank you for the sincere milk. Thank you for the sincere milk. Because it's absolutely useless for me to begin to desire for meat when even the milk that I have is infested. My Lord Jesus, show me that sincere milk out of your word. Show me that sincere milk out of your word. Show me that sincere milk out of your word. Lord, I'll praise your name. I'll magnify your name. I'll exalt your name. Because there's no one like you. As a, new, as a newborn babe, Lord, I desire the sincere milk of the word that I may grow in your truth. Show me your sincere milk. Father, we bless your name. Father, we worship your name. Father, we exalt your name. The sincere milk of your word. The sincere milk of your word. Your sincere word, Lord Jesus. Send us your sincere word. You promised in your word to send your holy word. You promised in your word to send your holy word. To heal us. To deliver us from our destruction. To make us to grow in your truth. I receive it right, right now. I receive the sincere milk of your word. Go ahead and tell the Lord. I receive the sincere milk of the word of God. I receive the sincere. So that I may grow in truth. So that I may grow in truth. So that I may grow in truth. We bless your name. We worship your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For the sincere word. Sincere milk of your word. For the sincere word. For the sincere word. You'll be directing me to your sincere milk in your word. That I may grow in truth. Father, I thank you. In Jesus' precious name. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, let's go to another promise. This other promise is in First Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11. The Apostle Paul said, When I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. You know, we are going to the Lord, Lord, I'm throwing away every childish thing yes i'm a child of god but i'm throwing away every childish thing i'm a child of god but i'm throwing away every childish thing whatever is not of your kingdom that is childish i've come to throw it away oh come on you need to throw it away right now you need to some of the things you've been believing some of the things you've been thinking they are childish they don't apply in the kingdom of god Get bold right now and begin to throw them out. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you. Because we want your truth to grow in us. I want your truth to grow in me. So, Father, right now, whatever is childish in my life, whatever is childish in my faith, whatever is childish in my prayer, whatever is childish, that, does, that which does not apply to your faith, I cast it out of my life right now. Whatever is childish, I cast it out of my life right now. Because Paul said that while he was still a child, he spoke as a child. Whatever I've been speaking, that is childish. Whatever I have been speaking, that is childish. I throw it out of my mouth right now. Go ahead and pray the same prayer. Whatever is childish, that has been coming out of my mouth. I throw it out right now and I begin to grow in the truth of God. I begin to grow in truth. I begin to grow in truth. I throw out whatever has been coming out of my mouth that is childish. I throw out whatever, whatever has been coming out of my mouth that is childish. I throw out right now whatever has been coming out of my mouth which is childish. Lord, we bless your name. I throw away every childish thing. I throw away every child. Paul, Paul also said that he spoke as a child. He understood as a child. Whatever as I've been understanding, that is childish. Every childish understanding in my life, I throw it out right now. Every childish understanding that has been in my life, I throw it out right now. Thank you, Jesus. I throw it out right now. I throw it out right now. I throw it out right now. I throw it out. Whatever has been childish in my life, whatever I've been understanding, as a, a, that, that understanding, that childish understanding that I've been having, I throw it out right now. I throw it out right now. Father, I bless your name. Go ahead and tell the Lord, whatever has been childish in my life, Whatever I've been understanding that is childish, whatever that has been in my life, which is Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. We bless your name, Lord Jesus. Whatever is childish has no more space, has no more room in my life. Whatever is childish has no more space, has no more room. In my life, whatever is childish has no more space, it has no more room. The speaking that is childish, the understanding that is childish, the thinking that is childish, I throw it out of my life today and let your truth begin to grow in my life. Go ahead and tell the Lord, let your truth begin to grow in my life. Let your truth grow in my life. Let your truth grow in my life. Let your truth grow in my life. Father, we bless your name. Lord, let your truth begin to grow in my life. Let your truth begin to grow in my life. Let your truth begin to grow in my life. We bless your name. Father, we worship you. Father, whatever is childish is living my life right now. Whatever is childish, that childish thinking, that childish understanding, that childish speaking is living my life right now. The truth is beginning to grow in my life. The truth is beginning to grow in my life. The truth is prevailing in my life. The truth is overcoming in my life. The truth is growing in my life. Father, we bless your name. Father, we worship your name. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Now, let's go to another promise. Matthew chapter 4. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 4. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Wow. <laughs> every word. Lord, I've come before you. And I've, I've come to ask you that your every word, that every word that proceeds out of your mouth shall be life. Shall be my life shall be life to me, shall be my life. Every word that proceeds out of your mouth, Lord, let it be my life. Let it be my life. Let, help me to grow to the level that every word that comes out of your mouth gives me life. Help me to grow in your truth that every word that proceeds out of your mouth gives me life. Go ahead and tell the Lord. 
Father, we bless your name. Father, we worship your name. There is no one like you, Lord Jesus. You have said in your word that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. When the Lord Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, he did not also, he did not mean that, so, so when you take away bread, now you are living. No. He said, but by every word. Oh, Lord Jesus, we bless your name. Because many people mix this scripture with fasting. He said, without the word, you have no life. Lord Jesus, and without the word, I have no truth. So, Lord Jesus, help me to grow in your truth by helping me to understand that every word that comes out of your mouth gives me life, gives me truth. Lord, give me the grace to honor every word that comes out of your mouth. Yes, Lord. Give me understanding that every word that comes out out of your mouth gives me life. Give me understanding. Give me knowledge. Give me, Lord, wisdom to understand that your every word gives me life. Your every word gives me truth. That your word gives me truth. That, that your word gives me truth. That your word gives me truth. So, Lord, let your every word begin to matter in my life. Lord, help me that I may not just read your word, that I may not just hear your word, but that I may adore your word, that I may submit your word, that, I'm, that I may obey your word, that your word, by your word, I will live, that your word will become life, that your word will become truth in my life. Lord, help me that your word will become truth in my life, that I will not live by bread, whether I eat or don't eat, but that I may live by your word. That I may live by your word. Help me, Lord Jesus. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord, Lord, I need your word as never before. I need your word as never before. I need your word as never before. Lord Jesus, I need your word as never before. 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 Lord Jesus, I need your word as never before. Give me your word so that I may understand that your word gives me life, that your word gives me truth. Lord, I've come to declare that I'll not live by bread alone. I've come to declare that I've, I, I let go of bread and begin to stand on your word. I let go of bread and begin to stand on your word. I let go of my human effort and begin to stand on your word. Your word, Lord Jesus. Your word, Lord Jesus. Your word, Lord Jesus. Not my word, not any man's word, but your word. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Come and go ahead and tell him, Lord, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. So, Lord, I take your word. I take your word where there has been bread. I put your word there where, where, there has been, where there has been bread in my life, where there has been money in my life, where there has been all those other things. I take them out and put your word in that place. Bless the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, go with me to another promise. <laughs> Woo, thank you, Lord Jesus. Ephesians, go with me to Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 16. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 16. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 16. Paul said, I cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Who is this him? The truth. The truth. That the Lord may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of truth. Jesus said, I'm the truth. So now begin to tell the Lord. I've come before you. That you fill me with the spirit of wisdom. And the spirit of revelation. Lord Jesus, fill me with the spirit of wisdom and revelation. So that I may have knowledge of, your, of the truth. Fill me with the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Fill me with the spirit of wisdom and revelation right now. Fill me, Lord, with the spirit of wisdom and revelation that I may know the truth, that the truth will begin to grow in me, that the truth, spirit of 
wisdom and spirit of revelation fill my life right now that the truth will begin to grow in my life that the truth will begin to grow in my life that the truth will begin to grow in my life spirit of wisdom and revelation fill my life right now fill my life right now fill me now spirit of wisdom and revelation oh come on go ahead and tell the lord spirit of wisdom and revelation fill me now that i may know the truth that the truth will begin to grow in my life that the truth will fill my life spirit of wisdom it takes the spirit of wisdom and revelation for the truth to grow in my life it takes the spirit of wisdom and revelation so spirit of wisdom and spirit of revelation fill my life right now that the truth will begin to grow i'm tired of these lies i'm tired of believing men I'm tired of following men. I'm tired of following things. I'm following routine and following rituals. Lord Jesus, fill me with a spirit of wisdom and revelation. Spirit of wisdom and revelation fill my life. 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 God, go ahead, tell the Lord. Spirit of wisdom and revelation. Spirit, these are the prayers that the Paul's made. These are the prayers that the Peter has used to make. We are making the same prayers today. Because the Lord is raising the Paul's and the Peter's of today. Lord Jesus, fill me with the spirit of wisdom. In revelation that I may know the truth, that the truth will grow in me, that the truth will grow in me, that the truth will grow in me, that the truth will grow in me. Lord, we bless your name. When that truth grows in me, it will deliver to me such freedom, which no man can deliver unto me, which no prayer can deliver unto me, which nothing on this planet can deliver unto me. The freedom in my finances, freedom in my health, freedom in my marriage, freedom in my academics, freedom in my life, freedom in my, my ministry. Freedom in my business. Lord, release unto me right now the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Wisdom and revelation. Spirit of wisdom and revelation fill my life. Spirit of wisdom and revelation fill my life. Spirit of wisdom and revelation fill my life right now. Spirit of wisdom and revelation. Come, go ahead, tell the Lord. Tell the Lord, fill me with the spirit of wisdom and revelation that I may know the truth. Oh, hallelujah. We bless your name that I may know the truth and that this truth may free me free. That this truth will free me free, will make me free. That this truth, Lord, I receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation. I receive the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Feel my life. Spirit of wisdom and revelation. Feel my life. Spirit of wisdom. And revelation fill my life right now spirit of wisdom and revelation fill my life i'm too glad and to, oh come on get excited come on get excited and say lord jesus thank you for filling me with a spirit of wisdom and revelation thank you for filling me with a spirit of wisdom and revelation thank you for filling me yes 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 go ahead and tell him lord i thank you for filling me with a spirit of wisdom and revelation oh bless the lord oh bless the lord let me show you another promise as we continue in this prayer bless the name of jesus someone must be worshiping right now the power of the holy spirit has come down upon you and great things are happening in your family great things are happening at your workplace great things are happening in your academics things are shifting right now the truth is taking center stage the truth is beginning to perform the truth is beginning to make you free is freeing you free Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Now go with me to John chapter 16. John 16, 13. Oh, bless the Lord. John chapter 16 and verse 13. John 16 and verse 13. Jesus said, How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So it's not people to tell us what is to come. It is the spirit of truth to show us things which are coming. And the things which are coming are not about doom and gloom. No, no. This is about heavenly kingdom. This is about the kingdom of God. Great things, miracles, signs and wonders coming. 
the power of God coming down as never before. The kingdom of God manifesting as never before. Bless the name of Jesus. That's what is coming. Not doom and gloom. Not doom and gloom. Not death. The spirit of the Lord is the spirit of truth. The spirit of the Lord, the spirit of truth is revealing to us the things that are coming. Miracles, signs and wonders, things which eyes have never seen. So I want to tell the Lord, Lord, you promise that when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide me into all truth. Spirit of God, begin to guide me. Holy Spirit, begin to guide me into all truth. Holy Spirit, begin to guide me into all Begin to pray that prayer. Holy Spirit, guide me into all truth. Holy Spirit, that's how truth will grow in my life because I need to exercise it. I need to exercise the truth. I need to exercise the truth. I need to exercise the truth. I need to walk in this truth. I need to walk in this truth and exercise the truth. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, guide me into all truth. Holy Spirit, some of you will be surprised by the things you will begin to know. Holy Spirit, guide me into all truth. Holy Spirit, guide me in Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God, begin to open my eyes to see your truth. Begin to open my eyes to see the truth. Begin to guide me into all this truth. The whole world is lying in wickedness. The whole world is lying in lies. The whole world is lying in lies. There are a lot of lies everywhere. There are lies everywhere. They are... They, 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 are, they are lying spirits everywhere. Holy Spirit, guide me into all truth. Holy Spirit, guide me into all truth. Holy Spirit, guide me into all truth. Open my eyes to see your truth. Open my eyes. Guide me. Hold my hand. Hold my hand, O oh hold. Take me by my hand, O oh Lord, Holy Spirit, and guide me into that truth. Guide me in that truth. Uh, there are so many lies. Poverty is a lie. Sickness is a lie. Failure is a lie. You know, eh, oh, oh, the fear is a lie. Witchcraft is a lie. The, the, the whole kingdom of the devil is based on lies. The devil himself is the father of lies. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of truth. Holy Spirit of truth, guide me into all truth. Guide me into all truth. Guide, except you guide me, Holy Spirit. Except you guide me, Holy Spirit. I want to hear that inner voice speaking to me. That inner witness and the voice of the Holy Spirit. The inner witness and the voice of the Holy Spirit. The inner witness and the voice of the Holy Spirit. Open my eyes, Holy Spirit, to the truth. Open my eyes as I walk about, as I go about my business, as I talk to people. As I go about my business, the whole world is filled with lies. The whole world is lying in wickedness. Lord, your word is truth. Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, fill my life. Holy Spirit, fill my life. Holy Spirit, lead me into all truth. 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 Holy Spirit, you are the spirit of truth. You are the spirit of truth. Lead me into all truth. All the traps of the devil are lies. All the traps of the devil. All the devices of the devil are lies. All the wickedness of the devil is based on lies. Spirit of truth. Guide me into all truth. And show me the things that are coming. The true things that are coming. The true things that are coming. Not the lies that are coming, but the true things that are coming. Lord, the spirit of truth, show me the true things that are coming. The true things that are coming. The true things, that, not lies, not lies. Spirit of God, bless. Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul. Spirit of God, you are the spirit of truth. You are leading me into truth in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank, we, have no, we have one more promise. One more promise. One more promise to speak to the Lord, to stand on and things are rolling. Things are already rolling. Things are happening right now. Bless the name of Jesus. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 26. Verse 26 and 27. Colossians chapter 1 verse 26. As we close, bless his only name. Colossians 1 26. Colossians 1, 26. Colossians chapter 1, verse 26. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. 
to whom God will make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. We are the Gentiles. Which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And Christ is truth. Oh, so this truth is a mystery. And the Lord is saying, it's going to manifest it. So begin to tell the Lord, Lord, let the mystery manifest. Let the mystery of Christ, who is the truth, begin to manifest. Let the mystery of Christ begin to manifest. And every sickness shall flee. And every device of the devil shall be broken. And all fear shall flee. And death shall bow down. Begin to tell the Lord, let the mystery of Christ begin to manifest. Let the mystery of Christ begin to manifest. Let the mystery of Christ begin to manifest. Let that hope of glory begin to manifest. Manifest it, Lord. Manifest it, Lord. Manifest the mystery which has been hidden for ages. This truth which will make your people free. This truth which shall set the captives free. This truth which will break the bones of lies. This truth which shall bring healing. Which will bring deliverance. Which will bring peace. Manifest it, Lord Jesus. Manifest it, Lord Jesus. Manifest the hope of glory. Manifest the hope of glory. Manifest the hope of glory. So that your people will wake up early morning with the hope of glory. Expecting to see the glory. So that they wake up early morning expecting to see your glory. Going to bed at night expecting to see your glory. Walking everywhere they're walking expecting to see the glory of God. Manifest the mystery of Christ. Manifest the mystery of Christ. Manifest the mystery of Christ. Christ also means the anointed one and his anointing. Manifest the mystery of the anointed one and his anointing. Manifest the mystery of the anointed one and his anointing in my home. Manifest this in my home. Manifest this ministry in my home. Manifest this mystery at my workplace. Manifest this ministry, this mystery on my, on my bank account. Manifest this mystery in my ministry. Manifest this mystery, Lord Jesus. Manifest it, Lord Jesus. Let it manifest. Let it manifest. That which was hidden for ages. Let it manifest now. Bless the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. You are manifesting it. Father, I thank you because you are manifesting it. Father, I thank you because you are manifesting it. Father, we bless you because you are manifesting it. We glorify you. We magnify you. We exalt you. Yes, yes, Lord. Go ahead and give thanks. Thank you, Lord. Manifesting the mystery of Christ. Manifesting, especially in these days. Let it manifest. Let the mystery manifest. Let the mystery of Christ manifest. Let the people around me begin to see it. Lord, thank you. Thank you because your truth is beginning to grow right now in my life. Thank you as it grows, I see your freedom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Thank you, Father. We give you praise, Father of glory. We give you praise in Jesus' mighty name. And everyone said a good amen. And give the Lord a big hand of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. You know what? Great things have happened in your life. Great things have taken place in your life. I know this for sure. And these promises shall be fulfilled before your very eyes in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. We shall meet again on Thursday, same time, to share the word, our midweek service. The Lord bless you. The Lord cause you to prosper and to let this truth grow up and begin to deliver such freedom. Think about it when you have this, when the truth has delivered to you financial freedom. When the truth has delivered to you health freedom. Think about it. It can be awesome. It can be glorious. And it has happened to some of us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, we shall meet again Thursday service. Same time. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever with his marvelous light. Forever with his marvelous light. Forever with his marvelous light. Amen and amen. God bless you. Keep on praying. Keep on believing God. Great things are about to happen. I love you all. I love you all. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.